Hey y'all, we're back and the wood conditioner is all dried and we're ready to try out the No Pain Gel Stain by Dixie Bell. I've never used this. Wow, that's not what I expected. Look at that. That's thick. That's different. <clears throat> I've never used it before and we shall see what happens. I read the instructions and they said to apply with a soft cloth or a sponge brush to go with the grain and to do a two foot section and then to wipe it off and you can put two or three coats to get it deeper. I don't think we're gonna need it deeper because I picked this really dark color to begin with. So here we go. Trying to get up to the edge of that and that's just not working for me. Let's see if I can do it this way. That's very dark, man. Very dark. It's, they call it a gel and now I know why. Look at it whenever I put the brush in there. <laughs> That's so weird. Well, that is nothing like I've ever used before. Very excited about this. I went over. Probably need to work a little bit faster. I don't think it really matters how it goes on these edges. It did say to, you know, make sure and sand it until it's very smooth and all that kind of stuff on the instructions. And it is, and let it dry. You can put up to three coats, letting it dry in between each coat. And it's said in humid areas, you know, it can take up to six areas to get, six hours to get good and dry. Um, Eric and I discussed the dowels that he's gonna be putting in these holes later, and we're gonna stain those before we put them in. And it would be your choice as to whether to stain the underneath and all that too. He wants to, so we will. Oh, that's very, very rich looking, y'all. Okay. I don't know if my one t-shirt's gonna be enough, but. to get it all off because it will get sticky on there and this is something I have this glove on because I don't want to get up it under my fingernails and it is something you're gonna to have to have mineral spirits or something like that to clean off with after this is not a clean off with water type of product um, kind of dipping down in those areas a little bit that's what we'll do around the edges to make sure that the stain gets good down in any of the knots and areas like that throughout it these ends are a little bit rough I can feel them dragging a little bit on the brush now and then but it doesn't matter on the edges the edges are very pretty anyway what do you call that champered that's a Roman OG curve profile. Okay. I would have said chamfered, but apparently it's a Roman. Chamfered would be like a 45 degree angle. Okay. <clears throat> well, there you go. Now you know. Roman OG profile. <coughs> How about that? It's a profile. It's a profile. Done with a router bit. Done with a router bit. Trying to be careful and rub back and forth a little bit where I stopped at and started again at so that it doesn't leave any particular mark it didn't stain evenly there and that's what we put the conditioner on for ahead of time uh, so I'm sure it would have been a lot worse but we're going for a rustic 
farmhouse look with this anyway. So it's definitely still going to work out for us. Okay, we're going to continue in this same manner, and then I will share pictures after. Thanks.